How y'all doing fam? It's Chris Rod with Media TV and I'm going to be dropping a video uh, about Trump aims to open California, Florida, Atlantic waters for all drilling. Nah, this is a, a horrible, horrible idea. Whoever fucking thought of this shit, like, come on, bro. This, this is, this make no fucking sense. It makes no sense. Like, because what he's going to do is he's going to put those states, California, Florida, and Atlantic waters, in serious harm, harm, help, help uh, conditions. You feel what I'm saying? Because we already know how these oil rigs go. And the number one thing is we have a main concern is for what if they have an oil spill? We already had a fucking oil spill in a golf course. The golf coast. Like, bruh, what the fuck, man? This motherfucker is the dumbest president of them all. Oh, we about to get into this. We about to get into this article, man. Because this motherfucker is just stupid, man. He's stupid. The Interior Department proposed plan will put up for auction the right to drill in areas that in some cases can had been off limits for decades the Trump administration unveiled a plan Thursday to open vast new stretches of federal waters to oil and gas drilling erasing the policies bro like why the fuck would you erase the policies so your big fucking donors could try to go and drill for some motherfucking oil so they can make a lot of fucking money and poison everybody else. You're going to hurt the fucking seafood industry and stuff like that. And other people's jobs and stuff like that, man. will be at risk. Dummy. And this motherfucker's stupid. Say put in place by previous Democratic and Republican administration and setting up a conflict with state governments fearful about the risk of spills. As I said... The proposal draw immediate criticism from Florida's official, including Republican uh, Governor Rick Scott, a supporter of President Donald Trump, who expected to challenge Democratic uh, Senator uh, Bill Nelson this year, as well as Republican Senator Marco Rubio and Republican governors like New Jersey Chris Christie and uh, Mayor Lynn Mary Lynn, Larry Hogan have in the past opposed opening the federal waters of their states. North Carolina Democratic Governor Way in Thursday saying the move represented a critical threat to his state's economy. I can sum it up in four words. Not off our coast, Governor Roy Cooper said in a press release. Even the U.S. military has also previously warned against allowing all rigs near the Florida shore due to concerns they could interfere with F-35 fire uh, fighter training maneuvers. The Interior Department newly proposed five-year outer cont continental shelf plan designed to align with Trump's call for increased domestic energy production will put up for auction the right to drill in areas offshore that in some cases had been off limits for decades. It will allow Interior to offer for at least federal waters in the Arctic as well as Atlantic and Pacific Ocean and the east eastern Gulf of Mexico, even as the department proposes to loosen offshore drill safety regulations put in place after the massive 2010 BP oil spill. Like, come on, bro. You're gonna fucking ignore the regulations and stuff like that, that that can affect everything in the food and a lot of other stuff. This is the start at looking at American energy uh, demonics, yeah, demonics, and looking at our offshore demonics Interior Secretary Ryan Zeke told a conference call, this is the beginning of an opening up. We will listen to all the communities of stakeholders. The states will have a voice. Thursday move starts 
a process that will run for at least several months since Interior is required to collect public comment on the plan. But the department has already taken some steps to open some formerly closed areas, proposing earlier Thursday to make available seismic survey data for the waters of Hawaii that would be useful for oil and gas companies. Oh man, looking to explore the area. Like, they don't give a fuck, man. But it would put the administration and oil and gas drillers in direct opposition to state lawmakers who don't want to see oil rigs dotting their coastline. Tourism and golf course states took years to recover from the 2010 explosion of BP Deepwater Horizon oil rig, which killed 11 people, spewed nearly 5 million barrels of oil in the water, ultimately coasted costing the oil company more than $40 billion in fines and clear cleanup. The question of to drill or not to drill has already been asked and answered by coastal states now include an interior leasing map, said Diane Hoskin, campaign, campaign director at environmental group Oceana, Oceana this plan proposed to open up places that have been close to drill, drilling for more than 30 years and we expect those communities to make their voice heard. Industry groups applauded the move saying that energy companies will benefit from increased access to federal lands. Of course they'll benefit, but the people that fucking stay there around that fucking uh, the, uh, land in the coastal and stuff that they won't benefit because they'll lose a lot of money and they'll lose other things in the food and stuff like that it's man it's they just fucking just thinking about fucking money man the plan announced today is a long-term commitment to securing our energy future and which help cement america's rose as a energy superpower creating jobs and contributing to our economy said Karen Herbert, Chief Executive Officer of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Global Energy Institute. In a Senate floor speech Wednesday, Nelson vowed to fight drilling in the state's coastal waters and threatened to seek to undo any interior action by using the Congressional Review Act, a long shot move since Republican controlled both Congress and the White House. Nelson called on Floridians to join him in fighting the move, invoking BP's Deepwater Horizon disaster and saying they should remember what happened to us when the beaches of Pensacola beaches were blackened with tar and oil and we lost a whole season of our guests, our tourists who came to this extraordinary state. Governor Scott also joined in calling for Trump to reconsider saying he has asked to meet with Zinc directly to urge him to remove Florida's coast areas from the plan. The White House downplayed Scott's criticism and Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders told reporters, just because we may differ on issues from time to time doesn't mean that we can't have an incredible good and strong relationship. The proposal calls for the first lease sales to take place in the waters of Alaska Northern Coast before moving to the water of the lower 48 states. In 2019 to 2024, we will conduct 47 different lease sales starting in Beaufort and Chucky, Chuck C. Then we jump to lease sales in Pacific Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic planning areas. Kate McGregor. Deputy Assist Secretary for Land and Minerals Management told the call. President Barack Obama had considered opening portions of the Atlantic coast to oil and gas explore, explorations until local, locals pushed back, convinced his administration to reverse course, but the Trump administration may not place as much weight on local imports, said Sierra Weaver, senior attorney at the Southern Environmental Law Center. The governors of Virginia and North Carolina have specifically asked to exclude those states from a five-year leasing plan. Waiver said, you're going to see a fight here. 
not only with locals but with state governments. Man, these people just just fucking stupid, man. It's stupid. Representatives for Virginia Governor Terry McCaff McAuliffe. Sorry, y'all. North Carolina uh, Governor Roy Cooper and New Jersey Governor Elect Phil Murphy, all of whom who oppose offshore dr- drilling proposed in past in the past, declined the comment pending review and interior proposed plan. Virginia government elect Ralph Norton Nordham also had previously voiced opposition to offshore drilling expansion near the state. Prospect could be even dimmer for major new drilling in the Pacific. The waters of uh, California haven't been offered to drilling companies in decades, and the region remains wary of new projects since the 1969 oil spill in Santa Barbara that was the worst in the country history until the Exxon Valdez spill two decades ago. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, this, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, come on, man. Like, bruh. This is gonna be something major. Like I said, man, and, and, and y'all white people that voted for Trump, y'all shit about to go in flames. Y'all shit is about to go in flames. Y'all dealing with a motherfucking beast. A beast that don't give a fuck about nobody but some goddamn fucking dead presidents. This motherfucker is willing to poison y'all just for a few bucks. He don't give a fuck about y'all. Man, this is crazy, man. Talking about, oh, we have a wonderful president. Fuck no, this motherfucker is stupid. His own cabinet is trying to let him know, bro, what are you doing? That's the kind of president we have, though. That motherfucker's stupid, man. Y'all have a good night, man. This motherfucker pissed me off, man.